Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the 4-H Town Hall Talk. Uh, you're here today with Mr. Kobe, Dr. Mariah, and Ms. Deborah from the Mississippi State University Extension Center for 4-H Youth Development. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a lot of exciting updates for activities and programs that are happening this, uh, this spring, this winter in the 4-H Youth Development Office. Um, to start with, we'll talk with the most pressing one that's coming up. Uh, this year, for the first time ever, we are hosting a 4-H Valentine's Day card design contest. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard about this from your county extension agent, and those deadlines are actually today. So we need those in the office tomorrow. So if you've got a card that you have designed, go ahead and get that sent in to your county extension agent so we can make sure that those get to our office and judge tomorrow. We're going to get those uh, cards printed and send those out to uh, a lot of different folks in the state. So do your best work and we look forward to seeing all the art that you come up with. Uh, the next thing I'll mention is that's coming up. We ha are hosting district livestock shows all around the state over the next couple of weeks that lead up to one of our biggest 4-H events of the year, uh, the Dixie National Junior Roundup. Uh, we're excited to see all the livestock projects that our youth have been working with all year long and watch them succeed in the show ring. Uh, so good luck to all our exhibitors who have 4-H uh, livestock projects who will be competing at their districts and Dixie National this weekend. So let's move on to uh, Dr. Mariah. She's going to give us some updates for some programs that she has upcoming. Thanks so much, Kobe. I hope you have been having a great winter break. And as we're coming back into our busy season, I hope you'll just remember that as you're finishing up those 4-H STEM for the holiday kits, to help me out and fill out the evaluation. And you had this little card that came in there. There was a QR code that you could click on and fill out that evaluation. That would be such a big help because that lets us know what you're interested in and what you want to see next. I've enjoyed all the feedback I've gotten so far from everyone, but I've really enjoyed the pictures. We have some amazing youth out there that are doing amazing things with those 4-H STEM for the holiday kits. I know some of them were very excited just to get to use the batteries and the battery case to make electricity. So that's a lot of fun. And we've been having a lot of fun with those. So you should be working on your growing a snowman and your physics with hot chocolate. I think that's where we're at at this point in time as we roll into February. That brings us up to our next thing, which is robotics kickoff. And so robotics kickoff kits are available. Okay, you can order them now. Uh, that hopefully everything's going to fit in here. Uh, you will need some cardboard to do this project. I've been working on it here at the office. And so hopefully I'll get that working for us and get those packed up and get them ready to go out the first week in June, uh, February. We're, in, we're moving into February. So that'll be fun. That'll be a fun project for us as we get started with our robotics uh, events. We've done a spike training already for our volunteers and our agents. And we'll do another one for that Lego spike robot as well. Now, next up, we're switching gears here. We're switching from robotics to election day, 4-H election day. If you have a 4-H'er that is interested in running for the leadership team or being an ambassador, we're going to have a mandatory training on March the 5th. That's a Saturday here at Boss for everyone that wants to participate in those activities and run for those positions. And this will help them get ready, help them understand the rules and what they need to do to prepare as we get ready and look ahead to Club Congress and all the fun things that'll be happening there and we elect new officers. So that's another exciting thing to put on your radar and to put on your calendar. So now I think that's all the updates I have, KB. So I'm gonna toss it over to Deborah. And Deborah, what do you have for us today? Well, good evening, everyone. I'm here today to give you a few updates on the upcoming Mississippi 4-H Leaders Annual Conference. It's going to be held on February 25th and 26th at Mississippi State in the Boston Extension Building. Uh, this conference is for adults only. You do not have to be a registered volunteer to attend. Um, also, the awards nomination applications are due in by February 1st. Um, so everyone please get out there, talk to your agents in the counties because they are the ones that's going to register you through uh, intranet. And they're going to have a host of uh, workshops and great events to attend. So we're looking forward to you doing that. Each year, 
there's also two auctions. They have a silent auction as well as a live auction. And it is um, you know, imperative that you all try to get some uh, prizes out here for uh, this function. And also, let's see, their hotel rooms have been set up at the La Quinta. So please make reservations for your hotel room by February 7th. Registration closes on the 11th of February. So again, there have been a lot of work put into, a uh, lot of work put into this to make this a wonderful event for you all. The uh, Volunteer Leaders Association have also put a lot of work into it. So again, come out, enjoy yourselves, make contact with your agents so they can get you registered. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Miss Deborah. Uh, you mentioned those auctions that uh, brings back a flashback from a few years ago when they made me auction off those items. And uh, mm -hmm. I have very limited auctioneer experience. And that was uh, quite entertaining for those involved. Hopefully I won't have to do that again, but I will if I need to. Uh, moving on to the last event that we're going to talk about today. And, and thank you so much for watching. If you're watching live, if you're tuning in later, make sure you ask questions in the comments. We'll get back to them and uh, we'll get those answered as quickly as we can. Uh, but moving on to our uh, last events we're going to talk about is the Dixie National Rodeo Days Expo. And that's going to be held Saturday, February 19th at the Trademark Arena in Jackson. It's on the Mississippi State Fairgrounds. Uh, we're really looking excited about this event. This is the first time I understand that the Dixie National is hosting this activity. We're going to be offering several different things for our 4 to uh, compete and participate in. Uh, one of those, uh, brand new, we're partnering with the Egg Marketing Board of Mississippi, is a crepe cook-off. And we're super excited about those opportunities to, to cook crepes there in, uh, in front of the stage at this expo. Um, what we're asking our 4 hers to do is to come up with a recipe uh, for crepes and submit those to their MSU County Extension agent and have those submitted into our state 4-H office so we can uh, judge those and uh, invite the top ones to compete and cook their crepes in front of the stage. So we're excited about that. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, certainly, it's going to be a, a delicious day at Jackson. We're also going to be hosting another venue for our arts and crafts enthusiast uh, to participate in. Uh, we're going to have a Western arts exhibit uh, that's going to be up and available uh, during the uh, Dixie National Rodeo Expo. So we're going to ask our 4 hers to do any kind of creative arts that they're interested in, whether it's sculptures, painting, uh, photography, uh, any drawing, uh, et cetera. Um, make sure that you get those in and we'll display those at the Dix National. Really the criteria is that they have to be Western art related. They can be livestock related, uh, just as long as they kind of fit that rodeo um, agriculture theme uh, that is going to be prevalent at the expo. The last thing I'll mention while we're on the creative arts and expressive arts is the photo safari. And that's going to be held here on campus on March 12th through the 14th here in Mississippi State's spring break. Uh, that is for senior 4-Hers, those who are 14 and older. So go ahead, be looking for that information. It's, uh, I think signups are coming up very soon. You can um, see updates on the Mississippi 4-H uh, Facebook page for those updates on the photo safari. I know it's a great time and a good chance to sharpen your skills uh, in the photography venue. Uh, with that, thank you so much for tuning in. We are uh, excited to be continuing these town hall talks and uh, we hope that you'll have some questions and we can interact and feel free to ask us anything. As always, if you have specific questions about the Mississippi 4-H program, you can contact your MSU County Extension agent and they will help direct you in the path you need to be on or feel free to always reach out to any of us at the center for 4-h youth development at mississippi state with that we hope you have a great day and uh, a good start to your 2022 year thank you <laughs>